Dang, three mons down with one move. What a mad lad. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Boost to the Top where I climb the online VGC 2021 ladder uh, with either a team that I made in 20 minutes or a really cool team by someone else. This team is actually one that was sent to me after I did that review of all the teams that made it to top 32 in uh, the VR challenge, the Victory Road challenge. And this one is by, what was his name again? This one was by Charlie Jones, and I thought it was really cool because I had both Mesprit and Blacephalon. So he actually reached out to me on Twitter before I could reach out to him. So he sent me the team, and he sent me a write-up as well as uh, some EV spread. So uh, I'm just going to be trying it out today. I, I think it's a really cool team, and if you guys are excited to see me use it, uh, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I'll be bringing you guys some daily VGC content. Also, something to note, once again, I haven't climbed up to Master Ball tier yet. This is only the second episode of the season, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Just just keep that in mind. You're like, why, why are you not why are you not in Master Ball tier yet? Because it's the second episode. Calm down. <laughs> Usually I'm already in Master Ball tier when I start the series, though, so some people might be confused if you're older viewers. Uh, last season, I didn't play at all, so, you know. <laughs> so I, I, I just have not climbed since, um, like, what, when did Series 6 start? I can't remember. I haven't climbed since Series 5, at least seriously, you know? But yeah, it's a really cool team. Defiant Thunderous is really awesome. I want to use the Blacephalon and uh, the Blacephalon and the Colossal lead as much as possible this video, because I just think it'd make for some really cool strats. Oh, question of the day. Question of the day. Um, What do you think are the most slept upon Pokemon in the current format? Like, personally, I feel like Alola Marowak needs to see a lot more usage. I think it's way better than people are giving it credit for in this format, and it needs to be explored more. So I want to know what you guys think about that. Comment it down below. Every comment helps me grow the channel because it, it gets me into that sweet, sweet algorithm. My, my channel starts getting shared around by YouTube itself. All right. As we see a double Ultra Beast team with Tailwind, it looks like just straight up hyper offense. Um, I might be able to... They really don't have much for the Colossal if they don't lead off Landris. That's something I'm noticing here. I might just go for that, to be honest. Ooh, or I could lead Thunderous. Look at all their Thunderous answers. They have zero. Let's do this. Uh, I want them to bank on me leading off with Colossal Blacephalon. So I'll go Thunderous on lead. As well as something to fake out. I think Rillaboom. Does Rillaboom have fake out? I already forgot. It does not. I guess that makes sense. It is choice. It is choice banded. Hmm. They do have two electric types, so Urshfu might not be the play. Then again, the Focus Sash could come in handy. Do I have Heat Wave on this? I do. Alright. I think what I'll do is I'll lead off Blacephalon and Thunderous. I really want to bring this Colossal. I really do, but I don't know if it's the play. I don't know. Ice Beam could be useful on this guy as well, but... Who knows? Uh, let's bring Colossal in the back in case we end up having to Dynamax it. And I could also just switch in Colossal on lead if they don't end up leading off with uh, the Landorus or the Tornadus. And my last Pokemon, we'll just go Urshifu. Yeah, we'll go Urshifu. Alright, I'm excited. I want to see how well this team performs. I mean, obviously, we already know it's a good team. It, it reached top 32 in this massive 300-person tournament, so... Uh, let's see if I can perform well with it. That's usually not the case, but we're going to try. As they lead off with Tornadus and Regieleki. Uh, Thunderous Placephalon doesn't seem too bad right now. Because if they do decide to... If they decide to go for a Electroweb here, I'm actually not in a bad spot. I'm assuming the Sash is going to be on the Tornadus, and Aleki is probably going to be screens. So what I might do here is bank on them. I think I have to get rid of these guys as soon as possible. I might just Heat Wave and Wild Charge. That might not be the right play, but I don't want to Dynamax just yet. And I feel like they're just going to Tailwind and set up a screen. If they end up giving me a Defiant boost, then I'm in a pretty good spot, I think. Yeah, they're going to give me a Defiant boost. Blacephalon has halfway decent special defense, so it will live that. I 
And I'm just going to KO myself on this thing. Oh, no, I'm not, because Blissephalon's faster. Get that wild charge off. And I have to be careful here. Uh, I didn't expect them to actually go for the Electroweb. Because if, uh, if there's a Landorus in the back, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I could one-shot that thing, but Colossal's probably better in the end. I just don't want to give them a free KO here is the issue. Hmm, this is scary. I really don't want to give them this free KO. Because the plus one's going to be really difficult to play around. I think what I have to do is go hard Colossal here and hard Urshifu and hope that I really have to hope that they just target into the um, into the Urshifu initially because I, I can't if they double into the Colossal I, I end up getting KO'd here the, the whole point of this is in hoping that they don't go for Electro Web because Electro Web just doesn't make sense here I think they would go for a Thunderbolt into the Colossal slot if anything because they're going to Dynamax, yeah. There it is. I don't believe this thing has any coverage to beat Colossal. So I should be free to just go ahead and drop the uh, the Max Rock move onto it. As they do Electroweb. Mm, that's not good. He's going to get plus one. And that actually does a lot to the Colossal, more than I expected. So we get the speed drop. It's the Max Ooze. Okay, it's into the Colossal. We do resist it, but it isn't a very comfortable hit is the issue here. This thing's got to have Aqua Jet, right? I could just protect here. And Aqua Jet. Because they should just target into the Colossal. What I'm trying to do is save my Dynamax for the end game. They're really chipping away at me is the issue. Like, this is a very scary match. They should probably just, you know, go for the max move into the Colossal here and uh, attack into the Urshifu with a, with an electric move. So I don't think they're gonna... I don't think they're gonna target into the Urshifu here with the Ultra Beast. There's the max airstream. Well, it looks like I made the wrong call. Dang, okay. Is it speed or special attack boosting? Probably special attack. Yep, that's modest. Um, I don't think I can win anymore. Unfortunately, I'm just in a very difficult spot. Yeah, I don't think I can win this. There's their Zapdos. They still have a Tailwind up, too. Hmm. I think the only way I win is by doing this. Do I have to max the Blacephalon? That'd be so annoying if I have to max this Blacephalon. I'll just go for this. Whatever. It's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. Because they're faster than me. Okay, there's the airstream. They're just gonna go for. Oh wait, hold up. I don't live that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I would live that. Even at plus one, I don't see why that would KO. Colossal's pretty bulky. Well, I guess it is life or plus one. Yeah, that's that's just gonna be game. There's the Brave Bird. I 
I suppose I could have gotten Mesprit on lead and just set up Trick Room. I thought about it, but I wasn't sure if I'd be able to function well under Trick Room with this team. It, it seemed to be more of an anti-Trick Room option. Alright, we'll go ahead and forfeit there. Unfortunately, it's going to make it so our climb is, you know, slowed down a little bit. We're going to remain in Great Ball 8. Probably until the end of the video, because I'm only doing like two more battles. I, I always do like three battles per video. Okay. Let's continue with the climb. Oh, nice, a pearl string. Now I can sell it and probably buy Carbos. <laughs> Honestly, that's that's the most useful thing in this game for pearl strings, selling them and using them to buy protein and stuff. I guess that's the case for pretty much every, tre every treasure item though, you know? All right. Ooh, okay, some Galarian Articuno. Some Landorus, um, probably Defiant Thunderous as well. They actually don't have any counterplay for this for this particular lead. They really don't have any counterplay for this particular lead. I want to go with it, but I'm also going to go ahead and bring the Thunderous in the back. And I think I should go Urshifu again. So like the exact same team, but this time it's just a better matchup overall. So they lead off car <laughs> cart, uh, Articuno Landris. I think it's pretty clear that they have to um, they have to max Quake into this into this colossal slot. I don't know if Mind Blown into uh, Max Meteor Beam will do it. I really don't. So I almost want to just call them on that on that play and go hard Thunderous. I just really want to do this. I don't know. This is this is pretty scary. I also don't want them to be able to get off a Tailwind. I'm just going to go for it and hope that they're not Assault Vest. Because this will still do a lot. As they do Dynamax. This will still be doing a lot of damage to them. If they're not Assault Vest, it may KO. Oh, is they actually Dynamax the Articuno? Okay. So I should definitely knock out this thing. Not not the Articuno right now, but I should definitely be knocking out the Landorus. Alright, let's go big boy mode. And Mind Blown is going to be doing a lot of damage to everything on the field. Almost just straight up knocks out the Landris. I get my Steam Engine boost. And now we'll be setting up this uh, these rocks in the field. Not the rocks, but the Steaming Coals, I guess is what the game calls them. Or whatever they're called. They, they say something. What What is it? By rocks. It was just rocks. <laughs> I was wrong. It was just rocks. There's the Max Phantasm. That, honestly, is fine. They didn't airstream. Yeah, no, um, Colossal's gonna be doing a lot of damage to them now. This is a very scary situation for my opponent. That's their life orb. Okay, here I just wanna go, um... I mean, I could go Thunderous, and I think that covers most of their options. There's the Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn doesn't really beat me. I'll just Vocalith into that. And I can go for the, um... 
I'll just super power for damage. I mean, I could go into my boy. Actually, is there really a reason not to? No, I'll just go Urshifu. Because he's not going to power whip, and close combat does the most from this guy. There's no way he power whips. He might leech seed my Colossal or something, but I should always prioritize this uh, Articuno right now. Let's vocal at this thing. It should knock it out. Nice. Kind of hoping he body presses me so I can get my weakness policy. I mean, I can just set off my own weakness policy. There's the leech seed. As he takes damage from the coals. And I think we just win. I don't really see a way my opponent can find an out here. It's always weird doing commentary over Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn has so many animations at the end of each turn that it's like, oh, what, what do I talk about to fill the void of, of stuff to, to say, you know? Alright, I definitely outspeed Dragapult since I'm max speed, so we'll just Vocalith into him. And I'll go for my close combat into the Ferrothorn since it can't protect. I always forget about uh, Urshifu's ability. Like, even when I'm using it and when I'm facing it, I, I will always forget that you can't protect versus it, and that's just because I'm dumb. Does anyone else have that issue? I feel like I feel like a lot of people have that issue, and I'm, I'm not unique. Like, I will see the Urshifu, and because it's such a unique ability, that I, I'm just like, oh yeah, um, it doesn't exist. <laughs> when clearly it does. It, it's It's been a metagame-defining ability for a couple of months now. There's the Vocalith. And Dragapult will be going down in two turns regardless of what I do. As he vanishes. And this close combat's going to be doing a lot. Ooh, okay. I think... No, after after Leftovers and stuff, that's, that's not going to KO it. There's the Power Whip. It's going to KO me there. Um, but I, there's no way he wins the match now. Because Thunderous is going to come in and just win. Dragapult gets hurt by the rocks. Ooh, and the rocks actually happened before Leftovers and Leech Seeds. So I actually just knocked that thing out here. Nice. So I can send in the Thunderous here. And I just have to sit back and watch the fireworks happen. The literal fireworks, or I guess the rock works. Hot rock works. I'm going to click uh, Meteor Beam. And also fly. Because he just dies at the end of the turn. There's the Phantom Force. Into the Thunderous, we survive. And my final move of the game... <laughs> okay, good game. <laughs> Just fly up into the air, Thunderous. Goodbye. Alright, let's get one more for today's video. Continue battling here. Ooh, two points. I really want to see like something crazy, something I haven't seen before, but not lose to it at the same time. You know what I mean? When you just want to face some crazy stuff on the ladder, but also not lose to it due to lack of information. A nice balance. Okay, Juan, what you got? Uh, looks like Boldo, Spectrier, plus Metagross. Nothing that Blacephalon and Colossal don't just beat, to be honest. Yeah, we should be fine. This looks like a pretty good matchup for that. Um, in the back here, in case that doesn't work out, Urshifu looks pretty nice. 
And I think my final Pokemon... Dang, are we just gonna bring the same Pokemon every single time? I think we are. <laughs> it just it just so happens that these couple of matchups have been have been favoring these four Pokemon. I don't really like Choice Band on Rillaboom. It feels kind of weird. Because when you Dynamax, you lose the Choice Band. And locking yourself into one move, just it, it's never suited me well unless it's Choice Scarf Rock Slide. I, I just always have issues with that. Or even just U-Turn. I guess we could U-Turn with the Rillaboom, but I, I still just don't like that in general. Okay, Zapdos Spectrier. I mean, this is just a phenomenal lead for us. It's likely Focus Ash Spectrier. We'll just mind blown up. I don't even know if Zapdos takes that. And I'll set up my rocks. I'll just go for it. Uh, I don't mind if Zapdos even goes for the like for the fighting move into us, because it won't knock us out. It's colossal, dude. Watch it be Choice Scarf on one of these guys, and I just lose because of that. Actually, it'd be ideal if it was Choice Scarf Zapdos, and it just went for close combat, because then we pick up a double KO. That would be ideal, technically. There's the Mind Blown. No KO on the Zapdos, unfortunately. But I have a feeling we're going to get our uh, weakness policy here. We outspeed, get our Vocalith off. Zapdos will be going down in one to two turns with no input from us. Okay. Hey, thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I appreciate you, man. Because now we got our weakness policy. That Metagross can come in. It is not taking a hit. I, I will mind blown again. I will do it again. There's the Landorus. I think we just win. Yeah, because we just mind blown to KO the Landorus. He could try to double protect here, but we're still in like a very good spot. Is there any other play we should be making? Not really. I don't think so. Because Landorus doesn't KO us. We'll just mind blown. I don't care if I lose my Blacephalon. We're just in a good spot overall. And I'll also go for the Max Flare into the Landorus because it will make it so... um. The sun is up and our fire moves will be doing more. I don't I don't think it takes this combination of moves. I really don't. Especially if my max flare goes off before, which I think it does, even with the choice scarf, like we're still I think we saw it speed our Blacephalon. Not certain. Not certain. Okay, yeah, no, you're not taking this combination. That's plus two. The sun is up, freezing cold. That's how we already know Blacephalon's here. Why am I quoting sicko mode? I don't even like sicko mode. <laughs> okay, awesome. Bye Blacephalon, you, you did your job. Dang, three mons down with one move. What a mad lad. And uh, I suppose we just send in the Urshifu. Finish the job. There's the Metagross. Ah, I don't think you take this, bud. I don't think you take these moves. Let's go ahead and go for the close combat. Can't protect himself from that. The Max Flare as well. This is such a scary team. I like it. As he opts not to protect, just accept fate. Bam, you're gone. You are gone, sir. Good game. I like this team a lot. This is a really cool team. I played it pretty poorly in the first game, I think. I definitely should have gone for the trick room mode. But overall, this is a really cool hyper offense team, and I really appreciate that Charlie sent it my way. So his link will be in the description down below to his Twitter as well as the team. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel turn notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.